In this problem, we're given uh, the x-intercept and the y-intercept of a line, and we're asked for the point-slope form and the slope-intercept form. Let's start by doing this. So to find the point-slope form, we're going to use the point-slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m parentheses and then x minus x1. So all we have to do is basically um, fill in the missing variables, and we're done. That's all we have to do. So in order to do this, there's a little bit of work. So when they tell you that the x-intercept is 4, that means x is 4. So that means y must be 0. And when they tell you that the y-intercept is negative 2, that means y is negative 2, okay? So x must be 0. So again, x-intercept 4, x is 4, so the other one is 0. y-intercept negative 2 means y is negative 2, so the other one is 0. All right, so now we're going to call this x1, y1. And that's going to be what we're going to use here. To find m, though, uh, we're going to need x1, y1, and x2, y2. So I'm going to call this x2, y2. Because remember, the formula for m is the following. You basically subtract the y's, so y2 minus y1. Then you divide, and then you subtract the x's, so x2 minus x1. This is the formula for m. So m is equal to, so y2 is negative 2, minus, and then uh, y1 is 0, over, and then x2 is 0, and then x1 is 4. Let me just double check that. So y2 minus y1, negative 2 minus 0, negative 2 minus 0, x2 minus 4, minus x1, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 4. 0 minus 4. Okay, looks okay. So m is equal to negative 2 over negative 4. So m is equal to 1 half. So that is our slope. So now we're good. Now we just take this and we take our m and we plug it in. So y minus 0, right, because that's our, our y1, is equal to m, which is 1 half. And then it's x minus x1, that, that's our 4. And that's it, that's the point slope form. You could probably leave it like this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the subtraction here and write it like this, 1 half x minus 4. You don't wanna distribute and stuff, okay? Because um, it wants this form, so it has to have this form. That's probably the most common mistake that people keep going. Um, you wanna stop here. Now, for the slope intercept form, that's different, okay? The slope intercept form is this one, y equals mx plus b. That's the slope intercept form. And that basically means you solve for y. So all we do here, well, we've already solved for y, so we just have to simplify. So all we do now is just distribute. 1 half times x is 1 half x. And then 1 half times negative 4, that's just going to be negative 2, right? Because 1 half times 4 is 2, and you keep the negative. And that's it. That's the slope intercept form. So this part's usually really easy. The hard part is doing this part. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world who's trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.